Hello Tauruses, so this is the reading that I'm going to do for you guys. I'm going to start from tomorrow until next week, Thursday. So let's see what's going on. Okay. Universe, what's the current energy between Tauruses and the person that's in Tauruses fine for April 14 to the 21st, 2022? Queen of Cups in reverse. Ten of Cups. Interesting. Um... So I feel like the current energy, there's a lot to be grateful for. There's a lot to just just feel good, basically, um, being proud, okay? But there's probably something that is triggering you or something that's resurfacing at the moment. Let's see what this is about. Universe, the person that's on Taurus's mind would like to say to Taurus. Okay, King of Swords. Uh, okay, so... This is someone who could be very cold, um, very cold, very harsh, basically. Probably this is someone, hmm, this, I feel like this is a family member. This could be someone that you can't, like, completely cut, cut ties with, but you have to keep your distance. And this is, like, someone who don't change as well. So it could be someone you had a child with have a child with or this could be even a family member as well let's see what else i'm getting universal person that's on Taurus's mind why are they keeping oh wow let's see what cards are these a strength in reverse and a ten of swords in reverse that's all the cards um so what they're keeping hidden yeah, this is something relating to the past with the Ten of Swords in the not the end of verse. I feel like they're not addressing the elephant in the room. Um, and because of that, like, you, it's like you don't want to speak to them or you don't want to, like, deal with them. Because this person can't be honest, okay? Or they're trying to minimize the effect of, like, how they behave, okay? That's what I'm getting as well. Universe of person that's on Taurus's mind. How do they feel about Taurus's? Three of Wands, they're waiting. Let's see what else I'm getting. Universe of person that's on Taurus's mind. What is their true feelings for Taurus's? Three of Cups. Yeah, so this person's waiting for you to open up to them, I guess, to move past. Because they're not being authentically genuine of like apologizing or even addressing something they want you to kind of like forget about the pain or the they want to make you forget about the issue they created basically okay um universe the person that's on taurus mind what is their intentions with taurus the death card and the magician their intention is to see if you guys can still be in each other life even though the ship has sell okay universe the person that's on Taurus mind what actions will they take with Tauruses queen of wands general energy is the knight of wands yeah so I feel like right now they know that they are wrong but they want you to forget about what had happened <laughs> okay um so I feel like they're a major gaslighter basically um they want you to forget about what happened they're waiting to see when will that happen. And for a lot of you guys, it probably won't happen because you're going to remember. You're going to forgive, but you're going to remember. Okay. Um, so I just see them not really doing anything because it's like they're waiting for you. Okay. That's what I'm getting. Um, do they really feel sorry? I'm not getting that. I feel like this is someone who don't want to address really what's going on with them. They like to reflect, redirect, project, and gaslight a lot. Okay, so their energy is the same and probably, yeah, it's the same. So this person's sign, um, there's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, there's Scorpio here, there's Aries, there is some Leo as well, okay, and Sagittarius. Universe, give me a four card spread. So there's a tower, the emperor, 
my income is constantly increasing and hell oh okay i like this energy i feel like you guys um you're not trying to mirror them but i feel like you guys are not going to enable their behavior so i just see you guys gonna be focusing on you you are shaking things up okay so this person thought like you know you're gonna eventually give in that's not gonna happen i feel like you guys are stand firm of your boundaries okay but i also see a lot of opportunities for you okay when it comes to your money okay it's about to be your birthday season so happy early birthday but i do see a lot of money opportunities um but i feel like you're gonna keep your boundaries firm okay um you're not gonna go back to someone who's like keep on doing things that you ask them to change um and they don't care so you're just not going to get caught up with them Let me have big cards, but I don't know if you have four Tauruses. So failure, universe, give me two more cards. Okay, so indecision, patience and blame, and human abundance. Yeah, and balance. So I feel like you guys are going to get the last laugh, basically. Okay, this is someone who was purposely trying to manipulate. Okay, and they thought they was going to always do this to you and you was going to allow that. That's just not going to happen. I feel like there was a time that you were trying to be patient with them. Um, but the way that they're not changing, the way that they like to flip things with the blame, the gaslighting, you've done, okay? And ever since you have parted ways with them, I see a lot of things become very abundant for you, okay? Um, and I see you guys are looking at things in a different light, not carrying that heavy energy. Okay, so you guys give me a big heart spread. The person that's on Taurus's mind would like to say to Taurus, abundance. So yeah, this person always knew your worth. It was more so they were trying to see what they could get away with. Okay. Um, I don't feel like they would like to say this though. So, because the tarot is showing that they're still going to be in this gaslighting energy. I feel like probably in the future, they would like to say that they were wrong that they feel stupid okay because they always knew who you were okay and you did probably balance them out okay and they feel like this connection did have a deep purpose but they didn't want that blew it okay so i feel like with them they're not i feel like they're not in this energy yet because the tarot is showing that they're still in gaslighting energy but i feel like later probably around scorpio season they're gonna be in this energy okay of feeling stupid Okay, universe, give me a four card spread of messages you have for Tauruses. So there's emotional loss, solitude, hermit, eight of wands, ace of cups. Look at that. <laughs> I like this energy here. The tower again. The tower is just you. You're shaking things up for them, okay? But also for yourself. You are moving forward. Things have been way much positively, um, way more positive, okay? Things have been changing, okay? you've been focusing on you you're feeling good okay a lot of you guys are in a new relationship too and it's very beautiful okay so let's see what i'm getting these cards want to fly <laughs> i'm pick them up so there's king here so i guys are dealing with a new capricorn universe give me a four card spread messages you have for or Sagittarius or Tauruses so there's God Don Juan the ex could be a Sag networker seeker judge gambler yeah so this is them let's see what card is this the gambler is the ex Okay, father scribe. Hmm. 
Okay, so they got two messages. So the gambler is dumb and the Don Juan, obviously. Okay, um, this could be someone who is very messy as well. They would like to put you in messy situations. I feel like you're done with that. Now, for the Tauruses who recently got into a relationship or you are single, I feel like you are going to be meeting someone who is a good father. Okay, um, I feel like being a good father um they're in a very divine masculine energy if you're interested in a woman or a feminine energy i feel like they're a good mother okay but they're they know how to um balance their masculine energy but what i'm getting for the singles and for those who recently in a new relationship this is a good person very dependable very masculine energy but healthy masculinity not toxic masculinity okay they believe um in a higher source Okay, so their morals are right. Let's see what else I'm getting. Okay, the universe, give me a four card spread. Okay, there is choose a new direction, listen to your intuition. Perfect timing. The situation will improve. There's something better. <laughs> Romance. Look at that. And it's up to you. Look at this. Let go. Yeah. Ever since you let go, look at all the blessings. Look at all the blessing. Even if you're not in a relationship, it doesn't matter. Like, I feel like you have such a beautiful relationship with yourself. You know, things are growing, expanding in your life. Okay. So that's what I'm trying to say. Just continue to be in this new path for you. Okay. So let's see what else I'm getting. All right, universe, we have two cards back. So there is sanctuary, universe, too many cards. <laughs> let's do this again. Universe. Give me one more card. What message do you have for Taurus? Uniquely myself. Jenna energy is Aegis beauty. Yeah, so this is you. Loving on you. Okay, so Aegis beauty. With great dignity and strength, I go into the unique texture of my feminine soul. Then there is sanctuary. In my inner sanctuary, I connect to peace and quietude and comfort. Okay, and then uniquely myself. I trust that who I am is perfect for my unique journey and my soul's path. Okay. So that's the reading that I have for you, Tauruses. Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a personal read with me at queenfidetarot at gmail.com.